Okay, so this is the maiden of the right wing mini drag. It's running iNav with the CLF4 air flight controller, and I'm just gonna check it up and see how it goes. No! So that didn't go so well. A um, couple of things that went wrong in that first launch attempt. Uh, I think the launch throttle was too low. I didn't throw it hard enough. And there was a trash can in the way. If, uh, if the trash can wasn't there, it would have climbed out and it would have been a successful maiden. But nothing broke. I just had to replace the prop. So we're gonna try again. <laughs> okay, so that was kind of rough. Um, auto launch kind of failed me. Auto launch didn't fail me. My settings failed me. Um, if you see, it, it's torque rolling really hard. Um, when I tried it this morning, I had my launch throttle set to 1750 already. And I guess I should have realized if it's gonna torque roll at that value, that I shouldn't probably go any higher. But I was told by a couple of different people to raise the launch throttle, so I raised it to 1800, um, and it obviously just torque rolls even harder. So thankfully, again, nothing broke. This wing, I, I gotta give it to John, this wing's hella tough. Um, but I launched it manually, which I don't know, I, I don't know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, but I mean, that was like super easy. It's, I, I mean, I guessed right on the trims, the, the CG is good, and it just like climbed out at about 50% throttle instead of 70% throttle. It's kind of weird. Maybe, you know, maybe 60%. Um, but it flew, uh, it climbed out clean and stable and level. Um, iNav's working good. Amp draw doesn't seem to be too high, so I'm just gonna show you guys what's on the wing and then we'll just wrap it up. So, for FPV, I've got a Runcam Eagle 2 Pro. Never used one of these on a wing and it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, kind of looking at the ground from up that high with that camera, it looks pretty good. This is a Neo Blue M8N that I decased. And then, you know, I've got the uh, for 
the VTX, I've got the AKK FX2. Uh, that one goes up to pretty high output. <laughs> Works good. It's nice because it's on a, a big PCB, so it doesn't get hot at all. Um, my trusty Emacs Pagoda antenna. I've compared this these antennas to you know a few different antennas for long range, and I've just gotten the best results with that antenna for long range. Um, just like you know, 200 milliwatts, 2.2 miles out, and just nice clear video. TBS Micro V2 receiver for my control. Then I'm running just a Turnigy Nanotech 5000 mil four cell. I'm gonna have to take this out. That is the CLF4 Air, um, and that's the only CLF4 Air that I have. Um, I tuned this in my S800. Um, so basically all I had to do was drop it in this wing. Obviously the auto launch settings need to be adjusted. You know what, I probably could have left the auto launch settings alone and it would have worked. <laughs> yep, 60 amp ESC from Hobby King and then the, uh, you know, the right wing spec motor, or the secret sauce motor I should say, with a seven by four sport prop. So yeah, it's, um, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty, feels pretty substantial in hand. Um, one flight down, so I'll have to fly it some more and play with the settings in INAV and get it all tuned up. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been waiting for this thing for a long time. Um, and that's why, you know, that's kind of why I set up the uh, flight controller in my S800 just so it would all be ready. But like this is kind of the package that I've been waiting for. I've been wanting a long range wing with iNav um, and I wanted a mini drag because they just look badass and every video I've seen, you know, they just fly so well and so stable. And it's weird, this wing is so like big and heavy, but even without adjusting, you know, the throws or, or the expo or any of that, it corners really tight. Um, it corners tighter than my spec wing, which I thought cornered really tight. It's it's weird. Like you you like when you when you fly around, it feels a certain way. But then when you when you flip it over on its side and just take a hairpin, it like the turning radius is a lot shorter than I would expect. So it's gonna I think it's gonna be pretty fun to play around with this thing. All right, better get the boy home for dinner. Thanks for watching, guys.